Caldwell County emergency officials and residents are bracing themselves for flooding. By August of 2017, the local TV news had already dubbed Caldwell County Flood Alley. Caldwell County has been three, through three federally declared uh, flood disasters in the past two years. Now rising waters from Hurricane Harvey would cause even more damage. It will take years to recover from the damage caused by Harvey. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. But just a few short weeks later, after the worst Texas hurricane ever, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality handed out a permit to Green Group for a 17-story tall dump near a high hazard dam in Caldwell County. Green Group did not have a critical flood permit showing the dump wouldn't increase the danger. The TCEQ ignored its own rules and gave Green Group a permit anyway for the 130 dump site. We've said all along the TCEQ is just kind of a rubber stamp organization. It's one of the reasons the TCEQ is now being sued by dump opponents. But on the day of that TCEQ vote two years ago, Byron Frederick expected his Caldwell County commissioners would keep fighting for the people. They knew the dangers of another flood too. I think that the commissioners are still gonna be pretty much behind us, we hope so anyway, but uh, remains to be seen. Byron was counting on commissioners like Hoppy Hayden. He would soon learn he would be very disappointed. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hey, no. Just a month after the TCEQ vote, Caldwell County commissioners dropped the legal fight against the proposed dump. And since then, now County Judge Hoppy Hayden hasn't put the dump on the agenda of the Caldwell County Commissioner's Court not once in an entire year. I'm done, Mr. Dospino. I told you before in the email that I didn't want to do an interview with you, and I don't. Yeah, well, one thing about America is we still get to ask questions if we want to. So we're going to expose the flood facts every Caldwell County resident should know about the flood permit Green Group got in February 2018 and a second one in May of 2019. Remember, Hoppy Hayden knew of the potential danger, knew that Green Group's engineering firm Biggs & Matthews had already been busted for bad science in the Highway 6 landfill fight in Walter County. At a hearing before administrative law judges back in 2016, Biggs & Matthews engineer Tyson Traw faced tough questions about his work on flooding dangers in Caldwell County. Question, this is the first time you've worked on a landfill project in this capacity, is that correct? Traw, in this specific capacity, that's correct. Did you do an evaluation to determine whether the changes resulting from this landfill would compromise the ability of this reservoir to handle the probable maximum flood? Traw, no. Did you consider the potential for upstream development in your analysis of the floodplain? Traw, we did not consider upstream development. In fact, Traw claimed he had visited the site of the proposed dump up to eight times. But get this, so you made no notes of any type during your site visit. Traw, not that I recall. Question, did you take any photos during your site visits? Traw, I don't think I did. Remember, a high hazard dam with a history of flood damage is just next door to the proposed dump site. Question, did you do any analysis to see how this landfill impacted the likelihood of a breach under a probable maximum flood? Under a probable maximum flood, Traw asked. Question, yeah. Traw, no. We're done. Judge Hayden doesn't like to answer our questions these days, but did he remember what his own lawyers argued at the end of that hearing? Quoting, applicants failure to properly analyze these events led to inaccurate information concerning the existing and post-development drainage patterns. I imagine folks in Caldwell County go to bed at night figuring that two years later, the officials in Caldwell County have gotten all the answers to those flooding questions before they would ever imagine approving a single flood permit for Green Group, especially after that grilling on the witness stand.
Just five months after the TCEQ simply ignored flood concerns, Colwell County's Flood Development Director Casey Miles gave Green Group their first flood permit for three culverts crossing waterways. That was based on this letter from Tracy Bratton of Bowman Consulting. Quoting, the applicant has addressed all outstanding technical comments, whatever that means. Bowman Consulting billed Colwell County for work on the dump between November and January 23rd, the date of the letter. But we look closer at the bills. Just four hours were spent reviewing the drainage study and the floodplain. Those flood permits are a little deceiving because all they really did was approve some culverts. But what happened to all those flooding fears, concerns about upstream development, worries about that dam, that high hazard dam? Turns out, Colwell County officials, based on their own records, didn't spend another minute worrying about all the stuff they were so worried about just a few years earlier. It was the TCEQ's own public lawyer who had warned of the dam's danger. The proximity of the landfill to the 100-year floodplain and the flood control reservoir unnecessarily increases the likelihood for the washout of waste and contamination of nearby water resources. We are now on 17, discussion action regarding proposed landfill in Caldwell County. In 2013, Colwell County Commissioners had passed a siting ordinance that would keep Green Group from ever putting the proposed dump exactly where they want to, next to the dam. Well, we don't have a siting ordinance that pertains to them as far as, as far as I know. Six years later, County Judge Hoppy Hayden clearly has no plans to enforce it. That will likely prompt more legal action. Judge Hayden could have asked his own county attorney to see if the siting ordinance can be enforced. Did you ask the county attorney for that legal opinion? You'll have to ask the county attorney that question. We did. Fred Weber has never been asked, and that wouldn't cost taxpayers a single penny. In May of 2019, Casey Miles rubber-stamped a new covert permit with no regard for how the dump could add to the reputation of Caldwell County as Flood Alley. Judge Hayden, he didn't show up at a court hearing on the ongoing lawsuit by dump opponents. So maybe he didn't read the court filing. You'd think Casey Miles would have read it because she's the county's floodplain administrator. If they had, they see dump opponents are still questioning whether Caldwell County got played by Biggs and Matthews. Quoting, Mr. Traw provided contradictory testimony throughout the hearing and is clearly willing to submit one set of information to TCEQ and another set of information to Caldwell County in order to obtain approval from both entities. We thought it was time for a flood of facts. You'd think after Hurricane Harvey that TCEQ would actually be more worried about potential flooding because of these giant dump sites. But this is Texas and so you'd be wrong. In the wake of Hurricane Harvey, has TCEQ changed its review process for landfills that are in or near known floodplains? No, ma'am. Is the agency reviewing Texas floodplain maps? And if so, would that impact landfills in Texas? No, ma'am. We. That's, that's all I want. A yes or no. It's a simple okay. question. Tracy Bratton now works at the same company County Commissioner Ed Thurio does. He's got a conflict of interest. So that leaves it really to the county judge to protect folks. And that's why we've been asking Judge Hayden so many tough questions. We're done. No, Judge, we're not. 